How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? Everybody getting a fuzz? What's going on, people? What's going on, people? Um, this is a straight, uncut video. I mean, to you. You know, I always do these videos, stuff like that. And you know, a lot of sometimes lately, if you probably notice, I don't believe you even want to come on the camera and stuff because, to be honest, you already know I get really tired of a lot of negative, you know, that comes along as, you know, as far as blocking and stuff. You know, it could be so negative and, you know, people don't kind of know understand what you're going through behind the scenes and stuff, but <clears throat> I'm going to tell you something. Now, me, myself, I try to be like the kind of person who, you know, look out for other people's feelings and stuff and, you know, try to um, have empathy as far as, you know, when I'm sharing stories about someone else's life and, you know, try to have some type of compassion and stuff that comes along with the story. Now, I'm going to tell you something about me that I have not been sharing, you know. The thing about me as far as being, you know, the new reality we own as the world called the transgender women. Now, the transgender women and stuff, um, to me, it's just a format of letting people know, hey, you're talking to a man. So, I'm going to be very straightforward with you, so if you're not going to be ready for my mouth, I'm not going to about to be for you. So, if you're like, oh, I can't believe all this vulgar language, I suggest you leave now, because I'm about to tell you just how I feel. So I'm going to give you two seconds to go out the room. If you've got children, please step them out the room up now. Okay, I'll give you a second. One. Two. Okay, this is the thing. Now, I understand that people may not understand your journey or, you know, what you're going through, stuff like that. But the thing about it is that... A person's life has nothing to do with you as far as, you know, where you feel as though your life and, you know, has to go. And they would say, well, you know, DNA does to give the DNA, you know, oh, you can't stop DNA, you trans people talk about, you know. And I watch people going on Shadi's son now and, you know, say a bunch of negative comments and stuff back and forth and stuff. I get to see it all. But I'm going to tell you something. And it's just my opinion. And listen, I'm like, listen. It's, it's not for everybody, and I'm not trying to offend anybody, so please don't think of it away. If you do, you know what, right about now, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be polite. But anyway, this is the thing. I understand what it's like to be back in the day as far as being slaves. Because when you decide that you want to stand in your truth and let people know who the person that you are, you basically just time travel back in the time. Now, when I say try, time travel back at the time, that means you're back in the days where they're hanging people, which sadly, which I reported that they're still doing it in 2017, where some girl got upset with me because of that, saying, you know, you just want to try to make it to a race thing. I'm going to make it to a race thing. I'm showing you bodies. I'm showing stuff there, but I'm, I don't even want to go there. The thing about it is, they're still hanging people. They're still killing people. When you used to tell people that I'm living in my truth, you know, I was born, uh, I feel like I'm a woman and stuff like that inside, you know, I'm a woman and stuff like that. I get it. Okay. It may be hard to respect or, you know, you kind of, because people have a different way of seeing what it want to be a woman and, oh, I always feel like a woman. I always love the women because I want to be a woman. It comes so many different avenues and I'm never going to go there. I'm going to stay focused on me. Now, because I watched this circus play out and there's a lot of things that's been jumped in on the trans in the wagon, the two spirits wagon, and it's become like a circus parade. And the sad part about it is you're dragging me along with this fucking parade that I don't fucking want to be a part of. And the thing about it is that this is the thing. When you go back into time, you see about the slaves and stuff like that that was being lynched and murdered and hanged upon the trees and lynched back. And, you know, as a white person that, that saw the type of thing, some of them didn't like it, but some enjoyed it. And it's the same thing as far as when you talk to my own more. If some people don't like it, but some people are enjoying this. Some people are going around just basically, you know, enjoying the, 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 um, just attacking someone just for the fuck's sake of attacking them. Now, this is the problem I have with this. You're going to say how DNA and stuff like that has to do, you can't change your sex, you can't change the listen. 
How about this? Let's try this for a second for you close-minded motherfuckers. Let's try this for one second. Okay, you are a man who are attracted to women. You love the way the woman shapes. You love her body. You love the way the curves. You know what it feels inside of her. Now suppose I tell you, I don't want you to date a woman. I don't want you feeling what a woman feels like inside. I want you to feel what it feels like to have a man put his dick up inside of you. I want you to lean back and let me let him put that dick inside of your ass. Let him put it in your fucking mouth. Better yet, let him put it behind your ear. Say, <laughs> here, come. <laughs> this is my thing. If you don't want to understand it, then it must not be about you. But this is the thing that gets me so fucking upset with this shit. You want to tell somebody about DNA, they shouldn't do this, they shouldn't do that. But my thing is this, is that you're telling a straight man that he can't be with a woman that he wants. As far as I'm saying, he can't be with her, I want to be with a man. So I want him to be a straight man that loves women, loves women now. But I don't want him to do that with her anymore. I want him to find out what it's like to be with a man. Now, you're changing when he's saying that I like women, I like women. Oh, no, no, we're not, we don't want that. For now on, you'll be dating men. Because this is how it's supposed to go. Now, you have a man who is once dating women that loves women. Now, he's trying to live in the truth of what you say he needs to do. Now, he's getting fucked in the ass, fucked in the mouth, fucked all over the place like a goddamn dog. And the simple fact that that's not what he wants. So you know what happens to him? His spirit is broken. He starts using drugs. He don't give a fuck. He don't care. He starts murdering people. He starts killing people. And the simple fact of the matter is because you thought that it was right to share what you feel as though he needed to do in his life for you because that's the way you say the rules go. But the thing about it that gets me, everybody wants to share the rules and stories. That, so why are we not explaining why is there black people, Chinese, why is there so many different races in the world? Why? I talked about this to another person and they said because God created us through sin. So God made Adam and Eve and then Eve was the um, rib from Adam and then all of a sudden all these other people. Where did it all came from? Where the fuck did all these kids come from? Oh, Adam and Eve just fucked each other and the kids fucked each other and the parents fucked each other and everybody kept fucking each other. What the fuck kind of story is that to be telling somebody? And then these motherfuckers believe it and you sit back and you carried on and you carried on. You didn't give a fuck. That maybe this story does not make fucking sense to you. But anyway, that being said, happy you won't even get that as well. You know, oh, mockery, 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 mockery. I've watched, why is it that when we hear preachers or priests and sound and molesting boys, why are we not surprised? Why are we not surprised about that? Because we hear it so much, but it's not an uproar. Then you get people just, oh, I can't believe this. I can't believe. Oh, you believe it. You know what's going on inside the church. We hear about the, the daughter inside the church. She's the biggest whore inside of there, using the son in there as a gay person. Not in all cases, but we hear these stories as far as it going out. Now, as far as being who I am, I didn't say I was going to be a transgender, that's some transformer bullshit y'all to put together, orchestrate some type of fucking joke, which you just couldn't find a proper way to introduce these people to society. We already been introduced to society, what the fuck you need to reintroduce us, what the fuck do you have to reintroduce us for? We already been here, you ain't got to show us again. We already been a goddamn bathroom, you got to show us again. We've been pissing in the fucking toilet shit right next to your asses and you didn't give a fuck because you didn't even know. Because half you can't even tell which is the woman with your man any goddamn way. So the simple fact of the matter is trying to make the toilet such a big fucking platform is oh it's transgenders in the bathroom. Bitch they been in there. They have been in there. Only difference is now it's like you're playing spy and you're sitting up there you're putting all the lights and stuff in there don't you? Because now you got real women that's getting locked the fuck up. We never get locked up. The fucking females get locked because you can't even tell what the fuck a woman looks like any fucking more. And it is you so fucking worried about a woman sitting right here and, and she's in the bathroom pissing and her hair has to be long, she has to be beautiful. But it's the fact that you got men out here fucking wearing with all these different outfits on like a bitch. But you ain't worried about that. You worried about somebody taking a piss. I don't give a fuck if a man dresses like a woman. I don't give a fuck as a man living his life as a man that just like a, I don't give a fuck. Because you know why I don't give a fuck? Because I believe in living that live expression of someone else's opinion of who they are. And we start stopping this stuff and start stopping people for who they are. Guess what's going to happen? Drugs, murders, killings, and they don't give a fuck.
Because your mama tell you why? You already killed them. When you killed them a long time ago by letting them not be in who they was, you did that. But I'm going to you, you did that. But I'm going to tell you what you will do. Oh, what's wrong with this person? This person acts crazy. Something's wrong with this person. This person's nuts. We got to put this person out of jail. So that's what you're going to do. So you're going to put them inside of jail because some type, of, some type of sick fucking thing you took on them. You took the person that they once was. You destroyed it. Now you destroyed it. You're going to put them inside a fucking cage because of what you put on them. Because they couldn't stand to be something that it was not. So that has to be something that you created. Now you created it and they didn't follow the rules of what you created because you destroyed what it was and they once were that person. And now they're that person that you wanted to be. Now you're going to put them in jail as they reward for listening to you. You know, I'm so fucking over society in this shit. You destroy fucking people's dreams, goals, lives, everything they fucking want to do. And it's only destroying that can survive the stand up to this shit. Because many people can't. That's why women are getting beat the fuck up. That's why men are getting beat the fuck up. That's why women are being raped. That's why men are being shot down with no fucking problems. Because you already killed them. You killed the man's spirit. You killed the woman's spirit. You killed them. But listening to your fucking ass. And then everybody wants to sit back and go, Well, what happened to them? Why are they acting this way? It's you. You did this shit to them. But guess what? Oh, well, well I don't understand. They're, they're adults. They don't have to do that. Everybody ain't mentally able to handle the bullshit you put on them. Because their adult does not make them capable enough to handle this shit. So a man said to his truth, he let you know, hey, I like trans women. So he is shamed upon and he gets put down and he goes through all these changes as far as sneaking around and stuff like that. Sometimes it gets so bad at the point where he'll just try to take the condom off and have sex with a person just be for the sake of having sex with them. He don't even care if he get a disease. I don't even hear nothing about, you know, a straight man who get a disease and try to go to the doctor and get a fix. He'll just go through the rest of his life just passing on. You know, this is the thing. You have these women out here, the trans women as you call them, the two spirits, the dolls. These men don't even see us as women at all. You know, this is as men, and I said this before, and I'm gonna keep saying it, I'm gonna get, and I'm gonna make people mad, but I'm gonna keep saying it. They want us to know. This is how I know. Are you? Submissive or dominant? Are you first? Why would you ask if I'm first? If I'm transitioning and become a woman, why would you want to know if I'm first? If I'm already sending through all these accolades and shit like this, like a goddamn fool, why the fuck is you asking me in my first? Because you see me as a man. Because you're going to what society already said. And you're sharing with your story, what you found, what they said. You shared it with me. And then I said, some girls are Thompson. And I get it. I get it. I get it. And the only problem I have with it, because many men are asking this question. And people only repeat things that they are finding about. You know, and I get that part and stuff like that. And I understand there's some girls out here. You know, and, and I'm not going to go into that. Because like I said, I'm going to skip the story on me. There are females out here, black women, very beautiful black women. Big, most black women, not all, are born with very fluctuous figures and bodies and tips and hips or whatever it gets me. There's some way along that has a curve. Some girls don't, but a lot of girls do and stuff like that. And there's no takeaway from either or. But the thing about it is that they don't put so much in these black women as well. These women get their bodies pumped and stuff like that. Since they be accepted by a man. Now, if you embrace that as the woman she was and, and who she is and made her feel good as the woman she is, she would be doing that. Why would she be doing this stuff? Because she wants to be loved by the right man. And guess what happens? He takes it, uses it as a punch, as a fun toy to him, had sex with her and think that's what she's into. That's all she wants. That's not why she did all that. She did it for the white picket fence. She did it for the husband. She wants to be happy. Some girls can say, oh, no, I didn't do that. For, um, I did this for me. I've never known a person get a ton of work done in their body just to sit around the house so they can look at themselves in the mirror. Somewhere along the line, you want to share your accolades with somebody you in love with. Now, this is my opinion. Maybe somebody there's someone about it, and that's fine too. 
but I haven't told you about that's the gym. I don't care. When you become like me, they look for everything about you. They can spook. Oh, that's not your real body. That's not your real hood. That's not your thing. Oh my God, you got out of this Oh my God, everything about you is says man. I hope you don't think you're fooling anybody. And these are the men that's coming to fuck you. Have sex with you. Suck your dick. I want you to get on top of them and fuck them like the cunt that they are. And yet instead of grab their fucking woman to tell them, who's the fucking man? Bitch, it wasn't you. Too bad she don't got a napkin. She could just wipe across your ass when you ask that question. And just look at the leaks. Of how many niggas has done been up in there. But you don't want to know to that. You don't want her to know that kind of shit. Cause you stand in front of her, you hard. And then everybody said, well, he may be sweet, he may be sweet, he's, um, he's gay and stuff like that, cause he's pretty. Oh no, boo boo. Them hard looking guys, them rough guys, them guys that'll make you cross the street. When he comes down the street, they'll knock you the fuck out. Those be the ones. And you know why he sneaks? Because you told him they wasn't right. So guess who has to suffer for what you've broken down of a person that could live in his truth? Everybody else around. Now he's gonna win. He's gonna he's gonna win. Wind you over. He's gonna win you over into thinking that it's something good, and it's all a trick because he can't be truthful with himself. He can't share the girl that he may want that could be you because he know what everybody's gonna say. He kept society with him while he was with you. So guess who's gonna suffer? He's gonna suffer. The two-spirit woman, the dolls, are going to suffer, and the female is going to suffer. Because society's way of living to a weak mind. When I transitioned, well, whatever that was, I don't even remember if it was I've been me. I've been me. The only thing that changed with me is this and this. And, 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 and because this always been, I've been in the wig store, the weed store, way before all of this Oopala got started and stuff like that. So I've already been there. And as far as rejection, I've already been rejected. You never accepted me in the first place. So I didn't have to lose nothing when as far as getting rejected. And that's the funny thing about that. That's one of the people who, who always had the accolades, the alpha male. You decide you want to be a woman. Oh my God, I can't believe this the way they treat me like this. Because you had it good. You transitioned that because you learned what it's like to be like me. See, I never got those accolades that you got as far as being, you know, you get, come on in, my man, all. Because, no, they did it. They closed the door and I walked through the door. And I don't even transition yet. They already closed the door. You can't come and No, you, not you. Anybody else for that one? See, you have those privileges. We never had it. So, Oprah, my favorite. Being trans is a mental disorder. Oh! But open up that pussy and let a man bust a nut up inside of you when he ain't got no ring on your hand and let him walk out the door and leave. Which you already heard the story about a thousand times the other women are raising their children by themselves. Doesn't make you a mental disorder. <laughs> How about that? How about the man that sit up there and talk about, oh, I'm a never, I, all I need is a good woman. I need to go, everybody wants a bad boy. You know why they want the bad boy? Because he motherfucking does everything your ass should be doing. If you did what you needed to do as far as representing a woman showing her that you are a fucking standby person. Don't give a fuck about anything about this world. You'll have that girl. But not all of them. Because some of them motherfuckers just like some of them. And I'm not saying everybody's perfect. That's not what I'm saying. But when you come to a world society, the woman who's been dogged by a good man. A good man gets dogged by a bad woman. A bad man is a vice versa versa by anybody who's over anybody, anybody the ex person who comes along gets a repercussion of somebody else's shit. And I'm over it. I don't understand why you don't have a man because I'm a bitch. I'm an evil bitch. I'm an evil bitch. I ain't doing shit. Why you dress up in the pictures? Yeah, bitch. They for the pictures. They ain't for you. You don't give a fuck about me. I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go and I'm gonna die. That motherfucker that's gonna give me the hell while I was on this fucking earth. And you're gonna know. How many girls you know done passed away and the motherfuckers that's and gave them hell ain't even been around? He ain't around. She done got murdered. Oh. He ain't no pictures. He, he a ghost. He a ghost. Gave her life a holy hell. But he's a ghost. He's looking at one of her friends now. She out the picture. She dead. He moving on. So where's the love? So this is what I'm in, this is my introduction to my life now? I don't think so. 
Anyway, you know, and now I know what it's like when the slaves were back there in the day and they were just hanged, murdered, and everybody sits up there, they have to finally set up a fight. It takes once to fight back. Everybody can't fight back. I fight back because I had no choice. I didn't have no choice. Some of us fight back because we have no choice. Some of you have choices, some of us don't. We don't have those options. Those options aren't available to us. We have to fight whether we're this way or the other way. Either way, we still got to fight. So some of you can switch out and go out of it. We can never leave it. It is a place we will not be abandoned from. And a lot of you may not understand what that means, but the girls and, 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 and the guys, the trans men, who are like me, y'all understand what I mean. We don't never leave that space. It is a life sentence. But we get the chance to watch how you pass judgment on us and you got two women that are fighting over one man like he's the last funky man in the world but y'all not kicking his ass. But you want to fight the other woman. No, but that's not a mental disorder. Okay. Anyway, the man said, I just want to share this there with you as far as society and to destroy. You know, it is what it is. And like I said before, I was going to vent because I am just pissed off about so much that I've seen. And I'm very disappointed. I was telling a friend of mine, I've been brought to this earth by, as if I came by myself. I don't even know if my mother and father even living or dead. I don't know. I don't even know it's like to have my parents love me. But I tell you what I do know. If the Ku Klux Klan was looking for me, I believe that they would be the ones to try to help kill me. Because the parents that I have is those parents that hate gay people. So now I get a chance to watch it up in person. It is nothing like watching a homophobic person that actually is your parent. And you're the person that they don't like. They don't even care to ever see you again. But anyway, the man said, it is a hurry. I don't even talk about that either. Anyway, I just wanted to share this story with you. I'm sorry for venting and stuff like that. And I'm going to let you know that I love you. And thank you for watching. Kiss the rain.